Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning more about camera manipulation as we start working with the camera subject. The camera subject is a lot like the camera's focus, except the camera subject is um, not just a spot, it's actually a brick or a part, a wedge, a sphere, anything really that can be placed in this 3D world, which is typically just bricks. I don't know, I don't think it can follow GUIs, uh, like billboard GUIs, sorry. Uh, that's what we're working on today. So let's go to our start GUI local script. There we go. Uh, we can get rid of this stuff, get rid of this line. We don't need first person mode anymore. We're gonna change this to true. Actually, no, we'll keep it false. All right, so today what we're going to do first is just run this game. We're going to look at the player's camera, and you guys are going to see that the camera's current, like, subject is actually, like, simple. Anyway, go up to the Explorer, click Instance. Um, Go ahead, scroll down. The camera subject is humanoid. Wait, BB, the humanoid. You can't see the humanoid. The humanoid's just the thing that floats above people's heads. What's wrong, BB? Well, actually, the humanoid is what moves your entire character. Uh, I plan on making like a zombie kind of tutorial thing about moving characters using the humanoid later on. But for right now, just understand that the humanoid is what moves us. And the humanoid is kind of right here in the middle of your torso. That's where its technical position is. And so that's what the camera follows. Is your humanoid. So, if we go to this local script and we just change um, cam dot camera subject equals... And let's actually go here. Uh, what was it? S obby spawns zero. Let's make it obby spawns zero. Equals game dot workspace dot obby spawns dot zero. Oh yeah. I forgot you can't just do numbers because Roblox is stupid. All right, F six. Load in Roblox Studio with an image by Freaked. Alright. Uh, I forgot this character added event doesn't fire the first time in play solo mode. Play solo mode is really starting to get on my nerves for testing purposes. I mean, seriously. Alright. Now load. The it's still not working. Workspace. Instance. No, the camera subject should be here. Right here. Not me, here. This brick. So what the heck is our problem? It's not disabled. Alright. Cam that camera subject. We'll actually cut this then. Paste in here. Comment out each of these lines. And change this to true. Maybe if we put it in... A while true do loop, it'll work. I don't know if you guys heard that. I kind of whispered, but I said it'll work. All right, there we go. Now, here's the beauty of this my character, at least right now, is not glitching at all, he's actually moving around perfectly fine because the camera's camera subject is no longer him. He gets to move free of the camera. The camera doesn't matter to him, really. He can move like, hey, hey, bye. Hey, hey, bye. Hey. Oops. Hey, hey, bye. Hey, hey, bye. Doesn't matter to our character anymore now that the camera subject isn't his humanoid. Which is kind of like the spirit of the characters. Alright. So thank you guys for watching. 
don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video, even though we kind of had a couple mess ups. Hopefully I've gotten camera subject kind of pointed out because um, camera subject is just the brick or humanoid or something that the camera actually pays attention to. And I will catch you guys later.